we doing today? All right, it's great to have everybody here. My name is David Green. I'm a Los Angeles County Children's Social Worker. I'm also part of the executive uh, board for SEIU Local 721. That's the union that represents 85,000 public sector employees in Southern California. I'm also part of the Los Angeles County Retirement Association Board of Investments. We have uh, investments of $42 billion and we manage the retirement for all LA County workers. I'm standing here today with LA County workers, concerned community members and students to shine a bright light on what's shaping up to be a bad deal for LA County taxpayers. We're here at the Los Angeles offices of Brookfield Office Properties, one of the largest commercial property owners in the county. Brookfield is finalizing a deal to buy four major buildings right here in downtown Los Angeles. They are the Wells Fargo Tower, KPMG Tower, the Gas Company Tower, and the 777 Tower. When the deal is done, Brookfield will be the largest commercial property owner in all of downtown. What's the purchase price? I want to take a guess? $2.1 billion. That's a lot of money, even for a multi-billion dollar company. But they're buying prime real estate investment property right in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. You think a big deal like that would be good for taxpayers? You would be wrong. That would bring in even more revenue for our city and county. But the simple fact is, it won't. Brookfield appears to be pretending that the buildings are only worth half the price it's ready to pay for them. What do we think about that? Whoa. That means when Brookfield seals the deal, it will pay taxes on what the properties were worth decades ago, not what they're worth today. How can they possibly do this? By taking advantage of a huge loophole in state law that allows corporations to cheat on the taxes they owe. Brookfield can pretend that all other entities, all of which they own, are brought, buying the properties with it. By doing this, the law doesn't recognize a change in ownership, so the property values don't get reassessed. The loophole needs to be closed. It's not common sense, it's nonsense. It's not common sense, it's nonsense. It's not common sense, it's nonsense. That's right. So what do LA County taxpayers stand to lose? If Brookfield structures a deal this way, our communities will lose $10 million in property tax revenues. That's every year. To working families, that's a heck of a lot of money. Here's a few things $10 million can buy. How about free tuition for 8,680 community college students? Yeah! How about 50 miles of fixed sidewalks in the city of Los Angeles? Yeah! How about 200 more social workers in Los Angeles County to protect abused and neglected kids? Can we use that? Yeah! As a children's social worker that serves children, this is where the corporate tax loophole that Brookfield is using really hits home for me on a personal level. Our county's children need and deserve more help, more care, more time, more services. We struggle every day to provide these things. But if Brookfield makes the deal, it's not only cheating the public, it is literally stealing services away from our most vulnerable and helpless kids. That is shameful. That is shameful. That is shameful. Shameful. We're here to stand against the corporate tax loophole and stand up for all of our communities. We want Brookfield to do the right thing and pay their fair share. We want LA County to do more to stop big commercial property owners from dodging the taxes they owe. We want the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors to go on record supporting a change in state law that would close this loophole. When a commercial building is bought, it needs to be reassessed and the buyer should pay their fair share. Fair share. What should they pay? Fair share. What should they pay? Fair share. That's right. Their fair, fair share. Fair taxes. That's right. This loophole may be complex, but the issue is simple. Our communities deserve a fair deal, and wealthy corporations need to pay their fair share taxes. Wealthy corporations need to pay their fair share taxes. Their fair share.
I'm honored to be up here with some community leaders, teachers, and I'd like to introduce another champion. I'd like to introduce Sonny Martinez. He's from East LA Community College. Let's hear it, Mr. Martinez.